In this tutorial, we will be working on the Abominable Snowman. Yes, from Rudolph, remember? And we're going to be adding flocking powder to him too. This is what he looks like on my thumb. I ran into a little bit of problems with the flocking powder on the thumb. I'm going to be drawing this with gel paints and I'm using my non-dominant hand. Okay, I am right-handed, but I am using my left hand to paint my right hand, and let's get started. The last part of this tutorial, I will be applying some flocking powder where his fur is. And to apply the flocking powder, you will need a non-wipe top coat, such as IBD Intense Seal. And I just go ahead and I put some on a tile, and then I use a brush, and I just come in and I just kind of put it where I want the flocking powder to be. Flocking powder that I'm using is from Martha Stewart and it does have a little bit of glitter in it. Uh, I wouldn't have chose this, but this is all I have at the moment, so it'll have to do. And you just drop it on. Lovey's Nails told me that it'll stay on through even washing your hands. All you have to do is just kind of pat it dry with a paper towel once you wash your hands and it should stay. Okay, what you can do now is just kind of give it a tap with your finger and then just go ahead, dump your finger over and then go ahead and cure this in the UV lamp for about two minutes. And now you just take a brush, you brush off the excess flocking powder and you see where you might want to apply some more and you just repeat it. All right, so for this finger, we are going to apply the flocking powder a little bit different because using the IBD, I don't think that worked very well. Uh, it kind of looked a little bit yellow and then I had to go ahead and try just using white gel and then putting the flocking powder over top of it, you know, the white gel that would have like a sticky layer and it seemed to work out fine, no problems. I mean, it, it cured and you know, I brushed it off, but I just, you know, after putting that over top of IBD, you can see it kind of, you know, kind of got a little bit thick, but you know, we live and learn. So let's try this with just some white gel. We're gonna, not going to put like a whole lot on. We're just going to kind of like go, go around here. I mean, I suppose we could use clear as well. Clear gel. All right, let's brush it off and see where we're at here. And it gives it a little bit of a fuzzy look. Not too fuzzy, not like this one. See, we've got several coats on this one here, only because the IBD, now I think, I actually think IBD would work well on colors, like colored flocking powder, but it doesn't work good on the white because it comes off giving a yellow cast 
on the white uh, flocking powder, but I'm sure it would probably be fine if you used like darker colors. But um, that's why this one looks a little bit thicker, is because I had to go over it with a white gel 